Hey everyone, if you guys seen my last post about why I need to upgrade my laptop and that I um, needed to get a power supply and a SSD drive to make my build complete and then I can start putting together my computer, my new PC for editing. And I was trying to wait for deals on Black Friday and also this past Cyber Monday for any good deals on computer parts, particularly for the last remaining parts that I had. All in all, I really there weren't really any good deals as far as like computer parts go, at least for the ones that I needed. I needed a new graphics card, memory, an SSD drive, and a power supply. And from those four things there weren't really any good deals as a matter of fact most of those were just i think they're regular prices although if you guys seen my video card my zotac video card unboxing the price of that already went up i don't know if it was because uh it wasn't it wasn't it didn't say that it was on any special i think it was just because of supply and demand i think because of all this bitcoin mining or things like that uh there's been shortages of cards where people are buying video cards left and right and uh, so it, the the prices for video cards and also memory have either gone up and then they go down. It, it fluctuates. They The prices don't stay steady like they used to do. And there weren't, like I said, on Black Friday and also this Cyber Monday, there weren't any kind of deals on any kind of uh, computer related parts that I needed. So... I just decided to just get the parts that I needed and regardless if there was a deal or not I know if that if I don't get them right away the prices will probably go up like the the on Amazon the 960 Evo drive from Samsung that I wanted to get the price went up for on that so I had to do a Google search to find uh, the cheapest price that I can get for it and uh, I ordered that drive on eBay and so it should be coming to me pretty soon. Uh, this should be the power supply from Newegg. Um, I got it. I ordered it on Cyber Monday. Like early morning Cyber Monday. Like around 12-ish, 1-ish in the morning. And I just got it today, Tuesday. So that is pretty sweet. So we're going to unbox it now. And this is uh, the Newegg box that it uh, this power supply came in. It says, may contain awesome. Take it from a geek. And there's a new way branding. So that was pretty cool. Anyways, let's go unbox this sucker, huh? So the power supply came packaged in this box with the bubble wrap that's pretty cool and look at this there's my order receipt i guess so i'm gonna just put that aside and they actually gave me a 30 dollar gift card for hell hella fresh hello fresh that's pretty nice i always like receiving bonus gifts or bonuses for something i purchased it it just increases the the value of what you bought as far as like it just gives you more reasons to be a, a regular customer when companies like Newegg or Amazon or some other companies like that give you extras for what you pay for it's always nice getting a little extra freebies or things like that is always nice so here is the power supply this is the Thermal Take Tough Power Grand Series. You can see there RGB, smart zero fan, low ripple noise, fully modular. Nowadays, most of your quality power supplies will be modular because it, it makes for a cleaner build. You could just use the cables that you need and put aside the cables that you don't need so it doesn't clutter up inside of your. PC case or your enclosure 
100% Japanese capacitors and a 10 year warranty. And this is 80 plus platinum uh, rating as far as efficiency goes. So I messed up on the last time I posted. I said there was only three. There's actually four. So you got bronze, silver, gold, and then platinum. Platinum being the most efficient. And it's a uh, 1,050 watts. Um, I think probably I may only need a total of maybe less than 800 watts. But, you know, along somewhere along the line, I might upgrade and add more components. So I just get a little more. That way I don't have to uh, buy another power supply in the future when I want to get more parts or, you know, stuff for my computer. Like maybe I'll buy another geforce card and run those two cards in sli i'll probably have enough power with this 1050 watt maybe i don't know but video cards are getting pretty ridiculous nowadays too anyways enough rambling i keep rambling don't i anyways let's uh open this up we're gonna remove the plastic first so i'm just gonna pause it okay so we've seen the front of the box so the side of the box is just more features, patented, 256 colors, RGB fan. And like I said, I wanted to get something with RGB because the whole case is going to have RGB. Here is the back for the features. I'm not going to read them all out, so you can just pause that and read it for yourself. So thermal take. Um, uh, I, th I guess back in the day, thermal take was not as really good for power supplies as they are now. And um, back in the days, I think the only power supplies I tended to rely on or get was the Corsair and uh, <clears throat> Enermax. Oh, and PC power and cooling. But they're pretty pricey too. Uh, most of your best power supplies back in the days you're going to have to pay a premium price for them, especially if, if you wanted more power. So inside this box, you, I guess this is the instruction manual. Let's just put that aside. And uh, I guess the power supply is in this foam cover. Yep, it's in this foam, foam cover. It's very well protected. You got this foam cover um, surrounding the whole power supply. But before we get to the power supply, you get this uh, this little box right here, or, or case, I guess. And this is probably for all your cables. Yeah, so this is for all the cables. Um, since I'm not putting my computer together yet, we'll probably just, I'm probably just going to open this one up for the main power the main power cord for your outlet your DC outlet AC DC outlet so uh, we can see if uh, the power so we can turn the power supply on and see if there's any RGB out of the box we'll see so see what I mean it's uh, the power supply is well protected in this in this foam cover and then on top of that, you get this cloth cover right here. I thought that was the power supply covering the power supply. You get this cloth covering right here. That's pretty nice. So well packed, good packaging thermal take. <laughs> Very good um, power uh, protection and packaging of, of this uh, power supply. So from as far as power supplies go, and this is 1,050 watts, it's not that big. Um, I've had uh, lower outage, uh, like say a smaller like 400 and 500 watt power supplies back in the days. And they were probably bigger than this now. So components, I guess, as far as components inside these power supplies go, they're getting more efficient or smaller. So here's all, the, all your connections that you're going to have for the modular power supply that the cables will attach to and here is some power ratings efficiency ratings whatever you want to call it so I'm gonna pause this oh in the back here 
is the uh, your power switch and you have the, the smart fan zero fan whatever that is if you want to turn it on and off I guess what does that say let's pause that and read it the fan does not operate if the PSU is at low load smart fan operation okay so you got that and then you got this button here I guess for RGB lighting and you also I I think uh, you could probably control it no this is the this this is the power supply that didn't uh, there's an I version of this power supply I guess that has software where you can control the fan and the lighting so I guess this back button right here this back button right here for RGB lighting um, RGB lighting <laughs> right there that button you could just probably cycle through the different lighting modes um, you can't I don't know if I can do it with the software so I'm gonna have to see that when once I have my computer fully built and installed and uh, here is the thermal take logo where the fan is the fan shroud and uh, what size is this fan I think this is a 140 millimeter fan I'm not too sure I think it is it's a 140 millimeter fan it's I think it's about the same size as the thermal take cases uh two front fans in the front of my uh thermal take view case so that is pretty much it as far as the uh the power supply goes I'm gonna pause this and try to get it plugged in to an outlet to see if the RGB works out of the box okay guys I got the power supply all plugged in I didn't realize that this sticker right here for that smart fan thing is, is where the power supply goes I was like looking around the the PSU to find out where I can plug it in but this sticker was covering the little port for the power supply um, another thing that came with the power, the main cord, this cord right here, is, uh, this bag of screws where you would, uh, screw the, uh, or, you know, connect or screw your power supply onto your case, your PC case, your enclosure. And so it's plugged in, but I, as you can see, nothing's really going on right now or happening either when I go smart fan or the RGB button um, so I'm gonna have to have it or you, we're gonna probably you won't be able to see anything happening until I really get it all installed and my whole computer put together so we'll hopefully I can as soon as I get my SSD drive from eBay or Dell it's from Dell's eBay store. Um, I won't be able to show you guys the fan as far as how it works. But hopefully once I get the whole computer build put together, I can show you the computer as a whole. And I'll probably videotape um, certain parts of the build process for the computer. I'm not going to go through the whole thing because I don't want the video to be too long. This video is probably taking too long already right now as far as unboxings go because I just ramble off sometimes. Anyways, let me unplug this. That is pretty much it with this Thermal Take Tough Power Grand RGB 1050. Nothing more to it than that until we get it uh, all plugged in. So everybody, thank you guys all for watching and uh have a great day. We'll see you again for another video.